Good afternoon. I'm CC Gaines. Thanks for joining us. Happening right now, the city of St. Paul is revving up its plow fleet to clean up some residential streets. And because of that, you're going to have to move your car. When you move your car depends on where you live. Today and tomorrow, crews will be plowing east west residential streets. Crews will do north south residential streets on Thursday and Friday. The city is also asking you to make sure garbage and recycling bins are out of the street. Now this special residential plowing schedule is weather permitting and could change. The city will post any updates online. There are only two winters have had more snow to date than we've had this year. And the snow we got right after New Year's was literally the fourth heaviest by weight ever in January. So what we want to do is get into the residential streets and make them safe um, and passable and uh, get as close as we can to the curb as possible. Now, if people haven't moved their car in over two days, they may get ticketed or towed. St. Paul is sending out text alerts. We have more info on care11.com. Meanwhile, Minneapolis is helping people deal with slick sidewalks. Take a look at your screen. These are four free stand stations that any resident can come grab from. Sand stations are open 24 hours a day. You must bring your own bucket and shovel. Minneapolis says if any site is out of sand, it will be refilled in the morning. There's salt mixed in with that sand to prevent it from freezing. Or our fresh snow and ice made for a slick morning commute from 930 last night to 1130 this morning. The state patrol is reporting 113 crashes, 157 spin outs and five jackknife semis statewide. There are 14 injuries. New crash numbers are due out later today, so stay safe out there, guys. Here's a live look at the roads right now. As you can see, pretty clear for now. This is 394 eastbound at Dunwoody Boulevard in downtown Minneapolis. Meteorologist Ben Derry joins us now with the weather. Hey, Ben. So we still have an overcast sky today and maybe a few snow flurries this afternoon, but otherwise no additional accumulating snow is in the forecast. We stay mostly cloudy tonight. That will keep our temperatures more or less stationary. So we're near the freezing mark today. We'll only drop into the upper 20s for overnight lows tonight. Temperatures will stay just warmer than the freezing mark, although feeling a little cooler today when you factor in a northwest breeze between about 5 and 15 miles per hour. But that's what's keeping our temperatures pretty steady today. As we head into your Wednesday, once again, more cloudy and sun. A dry day is in the forecast and basically a lull between these two weather systems. But once we head into Wednesday night and especially into Thursday morning, that's when our next winter storm starts to take shape. Already have a winter storm watch in effect for southern Minnesota, the southeastern part of the state and into western Wisconsin. This goes into effect Wednesday evening and doesn't expire until later Thursday. It's here where we expect the highest snowfall totals on the range of six inches or more. Here in the Twin Cities, we're kind of on the northern fringe of this, but looking at possibly three to five inches of snowfall for us. And again, this really gets going as we head into Wednesday night. That'll really slow down our Thursday morning commute. That's our next big weather maker. Temperature staying seasonably warm, but this next weather system is forecast to be all snow. So none of that rain snow mix that we've been dealing with the last couple of days. We dry out in time to shovel on Friday and it looks like a brighter and slightly cooler weekend. However, temperatures remaining a few degrees warmer than average. All right, thanks for that update, Ben, and be sure to download the CARE 11 weather app. You can get personalized forecasts, weather alerts, and check the live radar anytime. It's free in every app store. All happening today in St. Paul, Governor Tim Walls is set to announce his new budget blueprint. Walls says his proposal will make Minnesota the best state to raise a family. It's expected to include a focus on things like health, housing, public safety and infrastructure. The entire two year budget plan will be released next week on the 24th. Today, a news conference is set for one o'clock at Adams Spanish Immersion Elementary School in St. Paul. Well, coming up today on Breaking the News, all U.S. military veterans in suicidal crisis are now eligible for free care at any VA or private facility. Tonight at 630, a look at the new policy, plus the number of vets impacted and the types of emergency care available. That's coming up on Breaking the News. Well, stay warm and thanks for watching. We'll be back in 30 minutes with more news and weather.